G'day, I'm Matthew Mason-Cox, and I'm here inside the chamber of the New South Wales Legislative Council, the first and oldest legislative body in Australia. As you can see, the chamber walls are lined with marble busts, each immortalising a distinguished figure from across the council's 200-year history. But who are these silent sentinels, these so-called immortals, who bear witness to the important proceedings of our state parliament's upper house? What are their stories? In this video and seven others, we're going to find out, and we're starting with the newest bust in our chamber. So here is a magnificent marble likeness of the late Honourable Virginia Chadwick. She's the newest and perhaps the final marble figure to be added to our chamber, now that the walls are quite full. The bust was unveiled by one of Virginia's grandchildren on the 11th of May 2022. This makes it the newest bust by a long margin, the first one in 107 years. Virginia herself was a woman of firsts. She served in the Legislative Council from 1978 to 1999 in the first cohort of members to be elected there by popular vote. Most notably, she was the Council's first female president. In being so, she was also the first female presiding officer of the parliament. That is, she was the first woman to preside over either the upper house or the lower house. Before this, Virginia had been the first Liberal woman to gain a ministerial appointment in a New South Wales government. She was also New South Wales' first female Minister for Education and the state's first female opposition whip in the council. Fittingly, she has now become the first woman to be immortalised in marble at the New South Wales Parliament. During her time here, Virginia made important contributions to the state. This included establishing the Independent Board of Studies and taking the first steps to address homophobic bullying and violence in New South Wales schools. She was also involved in the restructuring of disability services. After her parliamentary career, Virginia went on to have a lasting legacy, not just for New South Wales, but for Australia. In another first, she became the first female chairperson and CEO of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority. It was here that she received global recognition for her efforts in environmental conservation. Under Virginia's watch, the area of Barrier Reef declared protect grew from just 4.5% to a considerable 33%. So it was quite a life and quite an impact that Virginia had. She's rightly recognised as a woman of conviction, a true trailblazer. When a sad passing in 2009 was marked in this chamber, members reflected on how well-liked Virginia was across the political divide, how giving she was with her time and how loved she was by her friends and family. It was an honour for us to host her family here at Parliament House when this commemorative bust was unveiled. The detail that acclaimed sculptor Peter Skipperhain has put into this piece is also quite incredible. Reviving the art of portrait bust sculpture, it's crafted out of white attained marble. In keeping with how Virginia presided over the council, she's depicted wearing her own clothes rather than the presidential robes of days gone by. That's actually another first. All the other figures in the chamber are either in robes or in toga-like dress. Care has also been taken to detail the pupils of Virginia's eyes, whereas most older busts have smooth eyes. All the better for this trailblazing woman to watch over the council in perpetuity from her well-deserved plinth on the chamber walls. Across from Virginia, in the chamber, is another former president, Sir John Hay. We'll be visiting him in our next video, and I hope you'll join me then. <laughs>